Welcome back. In this video, we will send email from Linux host. We will use postfix and utilize Gmail account to send emails. If you want to send reports or alerts over the email, you can utilize this video and configure your Linux host so that you can send email using a Gmail account. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to check out my channel for more interesting videos related to web logic administration and SOA development. Please note we are using Oracle Linux and these steps will be applicable for CentOS and in Red Hat Linux. Also I have uploaded all the steps in the GitHub. I will share this link in the description. You can open this page and get all these steps. So let's get started. Let's see the first step. You'll have to install mail packages. Let's go to our terminal. You can see we have logged in with the root user. So probably in your case, you'll have to switch the account. For that, you can run sudo su and uh, or you can write a command by adding sudo in front uh, like this. But as we have logged in with the root user, we are directly going to run the commands. So to see if the packages are already installed or not, we'll have to run RPM command. And the command is RPM minus QA. And you'll have to grab postfix. So I'm giving minus E option so that we can do multiple searches. So I'm searching postfix and I'm also searching for mailx. And you can see these packages are not there. So we'll install these packages along with SASL packages so that those files will be created. So let's run yum install postfix mailx and these two other packages are for SASL and the minus y option will give yes for the prompt and it won't ask you. So let's hit enter. So our packages are installed now we can run rpm command again so let's run rpm and you can see now we have postfix and mailx available for this host now the next step is to create gmail account and generate a password if you already have gmail account you can use that account but it is recommended to use a different account for this use case so here you can see I have already created a Gmail account and the name of the account is send mail from Linux at the red gmail.com. Now we'll have to generate app password so that we can use this for the authentication. So for that you'll have to go to manage your Google account. And here first thing you will have to do is to go to security. And inside security make sure your two-step verification is on. If it is off, you won't be able to generate app password. Once your two-step verification is done, you'll have to search apps. And you will see the option app passwords. Click that one. Log into your Gmail account if it prompts. Once you logged in, you will see this screen. And here it will ask you to select app and device. So in the app, we will select other and uh, we'll give it a name you can give any name you want i'm giving linux and i will generate it and you will be able to see the app password here so you can copy this app password and keep it with you so that we can utilize it later done now the next step is to edit sasl password file and we are going to create this file inside etc postfix so let's see this one so we are inside etc postfix we'll create sasl password and we'll add an entry so here we have smtp.gmail.com because we are using gmail smtp services this is the security ls port for the gmail and this is my email id which uh, I have created and this is the password which we generated using app password functionality and we can save this. 
once you save csl password file you can generate a db file out of it using post map command let's see that one as well so we'll run post map csl password now you can see a dot db file has been created this file is encrypted once this file is generated you can delete csl password file to secure your credentials or you can also change the accessibility using chmod command and uh, you can give 600 to this csl password file and now you can see only root user can read or write this file so this is one of the way to secure this file next step to edit main.cf this is the configuration file for postfix here we will add certain properties so first property is relay host where we are going to put gmail smtp details and we'll also mention our host name so let's see so inside etc postfix you can see main.cf before changing anything to this file we will take a backup now let's open this using vi and we will search for relay host so here you can see some examples are given and that is commented so we will add an entry here and that is relay host equal to smtp.gmail.com colon 587 now let's save this and to add host name first we should know our host name so to get the host name you can, you can run host name hyphen f and you can see my host name is oracle hyphen vm.com and this can be something different for you as well so change accordingly so we'll go to main.cf again and this time we will search for host name and again you can see there are a couple of examples given for my host name we will add entry for our host name here let's save this one next step to add more properties related to sasl auth and security so we will add to our main.cf let's do it so we'll go to main.cf and at the end of the file we will add this to go at the bottom of the file you can press shift g if you are in vi and you can insert these properties remember the ca file path should be correct please cross verify this path and along with this uh, here we have mentioned our ssl password path so this should also be the correct path for your configuration and here we have included two properties for tls and auth enable that is set to yes save this so all configurations are done we can send one email now and there can be multiple ways to send the email we'll try to cover a couple of uh, ways uh, let's see it so first we'll have to start post fix and uh, if it is already started you should restart because we have done couple of changes in the configuration file to start post fix you can run system ctl start post fix and to check whether it is started or not you can check the status by running ctl status post fix and you can see it is active running now we will run our command to send one email and for that we will echo a message this message will be in the body of the mail mail is our command to send a email and with minus s we are giving a subject here and this will be the recipient mail id you can change this as per your requirement so here i am sending a email from my account to my account uh, you can send an email from your account to someone else account as well so the mail has been sent let's see in the inbox and here you can see we have an email in our inbox and uh, the body is test email and in the sent item if you go you will see one email so we have sent one email to ourselves now let us see another way to send one email without using echo command for that we can run mail minus s then subject line
and here we'll have to mention recipient email id and once you press enter you can enter your mail body so i am giving my mail body here and to send this email you can press control d so the mail is sent and we can check our inbox again and here we have our email and you can see the body of the email as well you can also attach a file with this email using minus a so let's see that as well for that uh, i'm going to create one file so this is my test file and this is empty file i'm going to write something in this file and save this and now we'll send our mail using eco test email and this will be with attachments and here you can attach your file by minus a option and send it let's check our inbox again and here we have our email with a test file and if you open this file this is the content we have if you are not receiving the mail you should ping smtp.gmail.com from your box to check whether you are able to connect or whether you are able to reach that host if you are not able to ping uh, smtp.gmail.com then you should uh, fix your connection issue it can be related to email accessibility from your box or you should try to connect disconnect from your mobile data to wi-fi or vice versa you can also check logs in the status that is system ctl status post fix and uh, here you will be able to see some log messages and for descriptive logs you can go to war log and here you will be able to see one file that is mail log you can tell this log so you can debug if you are not able to receive emails by checking this log file so we were able to successfully send mails from our linux host using postfix service and a gmail smtp account if you found this video helpful please like my video subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification and you can add a comment and suggest a topic so that i can try to help you with a video thank you